Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, we are gonna be testing out the Surface Pro 9 5G and the NPU, the newer processing unit or the AI built into the Snapdragon processor on here. If you're not familiar with the Surface Pro 9 5G, it is the third iteration of a Surface Pro that uses an ARM processor instead of Intel. With that, you do get this thing called an MPU or a neural processing unit, which is essentially like a second CPU, except it only looks after AI workloads. The beauty of this is it takes away some of those heavy intense workloads that were typically performed by the CPU and puts it onto the MPU instead. I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I can tell you I have noticed a big difference when I use the features via the MPU because the device runs a lot smoother, a lot cooler, and it uses a lot less RAM. The main focus of the MPU on the Surface Pro 9 5G on Windows 11 is around video calling effects. So things like blurring your background, making sure you have eye contact with the camera, noise reduction, auto focusing and framing, things like that. Things that were typically very CPU heavy have now been pushed over to the MPU. What we're gonna to do today is look at how you can activate these features on your Surface Pro 9 5G, test out how well they work or they don't work, and of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what you think of the Surface Pro 9 5G. With that being said, let's jump on the computer and get into this. So the easiest way of accessing the studio features on the Surface Pro 9 5G is by going down and selecting on your Wi-Fi volume and your battery. And this is gonna pull up your quick actions and you have a button here called Studio Effects. If you open up Studio Effects, it is gonna show you all the different effects you can actually choose here. And then if you select on, that's for your camera. If you select up here for your microphone, it's gonna show you your audio effects as well. If you are looking on how to get into the settings of these, which we're gonna jump into now, you can actually go down the bottom and it says more camera effect settings or in the microphone, more audio effects settings. So let's actually jump into the more camera effects settings now. And this is gonna pull us over to our settings where you can actually see it in a little bit clearer in a bigger picture here. And if we scroll down, you can actually control the effects here as well. So I'm gonna turn these three off for now, and I'm gonna walk you through everything. So here we can see this is just the regular camera working right now. And the first camera effect that works by that MPU is automatic framing. So this is gonna keep you in focus even if you are moving around, which I found works really well, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. I've just turned it on, and now if I move around, the camera should start to focus on my voice. Uh, that's actually doing a really good job, even avoiding the iPhone here. If I move around, it should continue following me around the room. The iPhone is causing a little bit of, I guess, delay, but you can see that works really well to focus me in the frame at all times. Then you have the option here of eye contact. So this is to actually allow you to, I guess, raise your eyelids when you are looking at the screen. I have been told that this sometimes does look like a bit of a deep fake when I've had it turned on. But um, I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at the screen and when I turn eye contact on, you should see my eyelids lift just a little bit. That is not me lifting it. I'm still looking at the screen here, but that is using the NPU and the AI to make sure I have a little bit better eye focus and eye contact with the camera. Let me know what your thoughts are on this feature and if you think it does what it says on the box and if you would use it, I'm still not 100% sold on it just because of the feedback I've gotten from people on the other side of the camera. And then of course you have the background effects. So we've all used things like background blur when you've been on a Teams call, Zoom call, all that sort of stuff. And this really is probably the, this is probably you know one of the best uses of the NPU because what it does is it takes a lot of that CPU focus that really drains your battery life and heats your computer up and actually puts it onto the MPU. So your Teams calls run just that little bit better because that processing is done on the MPU instead. So let me turn on that background effect. And you can see the background is automatically gone into a much more blurry uh, focus. And then you can of course choose your standard blur, which is gonna be really quite heavy, or portrait blur, which I prefer, makes it a little bit lighter. And you can see that the eye contact as well as the auto framing is still gonna work with these features turned on. I do love that auto framing because it just seems to work really well. I'm at my standing desk right now and I can just walk around and have the camera focus on me. It's really quite cool. Now we're gonna look at the studio effects when it comes to the audio. So let's go back down into our settings here. 
But before we do that, I am gonna show you I've got a piece of tinsel that I'll be ruffling in front of the studio microphone. To do, to get into our settings, we're gonna select on studio effects. We're gonna go over to camera. And then you can see voice focus is turned on here, but I wanna go into the settings. So I'm gonna go more audio effects down the bottom. This is gonna take us to our audio settings and I'm gonna show you how you can turn these on off and how you can adjust them as well. So here where it says input, you can choose the speaker that we're gonna use. On the Surface Pro 9 5G, we're gonna use the internal speaker, so the built-in one up here. But then we're also gonna select on the internal microphone array. Let's open that up. And then if we scroll down a little bit, you can see audio enhancements. Microsoft Windows Studio Focus is turned on. Voice focus is turned on. You can turn this off if you want, but we're gonna leave it on for now. A faster way of getting to this is of course going into down the bottom here, going into your studio effects and then microphone, and then you can turn voice focus on or off. I'm also gonna launch up our voice recorder. So I'm gonna turn off the voice focus, actually I'm gonna turn the entire thing off. We're just gonna off completely. And now I'm gonna start recording. This is me recording while ruffling some paper in front of the microphone with the studio effects completely turned off. Now we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna make another recording. This is me recording again, but now with studio effects turned on, voice focus turned on and I'm ruffling that paper in front of the microphone again. Let me know what you guys think of the audio enhancements in the comment section down below, because I think it does a tremendous job and I've had some really good feedback when I've been on video calls with people about how clear the audio is. And there you have it. Those are some of the new features in the Surface Pro 9 5G made possible thanks to that newer processing unit. Let me know your thoughts of the Surface Pro 9 5G in the comment section down below. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of this content, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.